Hey everyone, welcome to another Still Small Monday. This week we're going to be talking about the hours of prayer, or some people call them the watches of prayer or periods of prayer. And it's this prayer uh, way of praying where we intentionally take different hours of the day and just spend a few minutes uh, praying and connecting with God. Traditionally, it's been seven uh, different time periods of prayer, starting at 6 a.m., going at 9, noon, 3, 6, 9, and then again at midnight. And in the Benedictine monastic tradition, they also did an eighth hour uh, or an eighth period, and that came at 3 a.m. So they'd wake up and pray at 3 a.m. and then go back to sleep. Now, we're not suggesting that this week. If you want to try all eight hours, by all means, go for it. But uh, I would suggest picking three of those times. And maybe what, doing something, something that I did was I set up on my phone an alarm that just says pray and I put it at six, nine, noon, three, and so forth and so on. You just go and you pray and you connect with God. Now traditionally people will read different psalms uh, through those different periods of time and so I would suggest reading a portion of a psalm maybe to help navigate your prayer time. Maybe you want to pick three times during the day and one of the times you want to pray about your relationship with God. One time you want to pray for other other people in your life and then another time you want to pray for our community or our country or the world at large. Um, perhaps there's uh, specific three things that you want to pick out or maybe you want to try all seven. You could use it that way and pray for different people at all seven different times. We don't have rules about this sort of stuff, um, but I'm just trying to help uh, guide your time. And actually last week we talked about these um, these pre-written prayers. And there's a lot of pre-written prayers for different times of the day. So what I would actually suggest, if you wanna try it and wanna build off of last week's uh, prayer practices, uh, check out the link, uh, we'll have it in here this week. There's one that says morning prayers and evening prayers. Maybe you just wanna start with those two and read through a morning prayer and an evening prayer. And at lunch, you wanna pray on your own or read a Psalm. It's as simple as that to get started. Uh, take some time, try these different hours, maybe put it right in your alarm and, uh, and just take some time to pray and connect. It'll be amazing. I can almost guarantee the way that you feel closer to God, the way that you start to see God working and moving when you take time to be with him, to pray, and to pray for others. Let's uh, join in together and try this out and uh, see how it goes. And let us know if you're uh, trying this out, especially would love to hear if you're trying uh, some midnight or 3 a.m. prayer, but anyone who's doing any of these, even uh, one or two times in the day where you're setting your alarm, go for it. And I imagine you all practice it already to an extent. When you pray, you're kind of hitting one of those hours or near it, but uh, challenge yourself and maybe try one or two others. I know I'm going to try it. I'm going to have it in my alarm and uh, see how it goes. Probably won't try it through a uh, maybe once. I'll let you know next week if we do. Have a great one, everyone, and we'll see you next time.